So you got it set on 73, and it's 69 in here, so it should have been running. This furnace is giving me diabetes. We got glow. Does that really just sit in there like that? That really just slides in there. And then that holds it in place. That's how they do the thermal couples. I didn't know they ever did that with the flame sensors. So they suggest you clean these with a dollar bill. I guess this will work. That looks better. Guess we can just throw that away now. We're not throwing that away. All right, so let's put it back in place. Well, that thing's just a pain in the ass. Let's get something back in there that can. That thing's a major pain in the ass. Who designs this shit? Get this out of the way. Oh, that's much easier once you get in there. Right, so now we're right there. If you can see that. Now we're gonna put a rollout back in place here. All right, so we saw everything light. And this flame sensor over here We'll verify with the board that the flame made it all the way over to the end. And then it will continue to feed power to the gas valve for as long as it senses the flame is there and as long as there's a call for heat. So with that flame sensor being dirty, it could not sense the flame. So after a little bit of being lit, since it couldn't see a flame, it killed power to the gas valve for safety. So our hot surface igniter is glowing. Still not sensing flame. So I should have brought this to everyone's attention. Okay, so what can be happening is actually letting this rod come through the carbon deposit on here. So let's go ahead and clean this up too. So we'll clean that up and then we'll kind of Wipe that dust off there. We need to put our rollout back up in place. sensors are just a piece of metal and then they've got the ceramic coating to go from one end to the other so there's really not much to go bad with one of those they're just dirty you saw we cleaned just the probe up to start with didn't work so all that carbon buildup was on the porcelain allowing the flame to rectify back to ground right here instead of coming back to our board and I've showed it before I'm gonna see if I can show it again here some of you may not know this, but if you were to go to ground and then measure to that, measure to that flame sensor, we're reading 81 volts AC. So it's putting AC voltage into this probe. So there's 80 volts on that probe. So I'm gonna go back to ohms. I got the 
get that grounded. And this end is in the air. You see it right there. We have nothing on the meter. But as soon as I stick this into that plane, you can see we have movement on the meter. I'm not going to put that in the plane very long because I don't want to melt it. But that just shows you that electricity will travel through a flame. If you didn't know, now you know.